It's Christy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm back with another exciting store-bought slime review. And today we're reviewing slimes I purchased from Amazon versus Walmart versus Target and seeing which store has the better slimes. And if you guys want to see more store-bought slime reviews, give this video a big thumbs up and I will keep doing them for you guys. We are going to be having a huge Black Friday sale on Thursday, November 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard time. For those of you who shopped our last Black Friday sale, you might remember it being crazy. We received so many orders so fast because we had crazy deals going on. So make sure you guys mark the date in your calendar and I'll be releasing more details regarding the restock and giveaways on Instagram and also on here as well. So stay tuned for all of that. And for today's post notification shout out, there are two of you guys. And the first one goes out to Rena Maylee and Stuck with Sophia. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications and if you guys want to get shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you've done that. And I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short for you guys, so let's get right on into the first slime. Starting off with our Amazon slimes, we have some slimes from a variety pack from Compound Kings. So first up, we have a Glitzy Dot Slime. This is a 3.3 ounce container and it's mango tango scented. Glitzy Dot Slimes have been hit or miss for me, but I thought this one was pretty decent. Sometimes they can be really difficult to stretch, but this one was pretty stretchy and it also felt slightly sticky, which made it even stretchier. It's definitely not the stretchiest slime, but compared to others from the Glitzy Dots collection, I'd say it was pretty pretty good. I thought it was going to be a mango colored slime because of the scent, but I still do love the bright pink color. It's so pretty. It does have a fairly strong mango scent that smells so delish. I didn't love this one, but I didn't hate it either. I thought it was a pretty decent slime. Next up, we have a Glitzy Tinsels in Grape Popsicle. This is another 3.3 ounce container of slime. This one has a pretty similar texture to the previous one. It's thick and slightly stretchy and also has a somewhat sticky feel to it. It's filled with pretty tinsel glitters, obviously giving it the name Glitzy Tinsels. One thing I did not really like about this slime was the fallout from the tinsel glitters. I noticed it got all over my hands and table and it was definitely pretty difficult to get it all off. It has a sweet grape scent that smells so good. I really love the scent. Again, it's not my favorite slime, but it's not the worst either. And lastly, from Compound Kings, we have a 1.2 ounce container of Cotton Clouds in Blueberry. So right when I took the slime out of the container, I noticed it felt a little bit dry, but as soon as I started stretching and fluffing it up, it was great. This is a light and airy slime that's kind of similar to a cloud slime, but the texture is also kind of different. This slime has more of an elastic pull to it as you stretch it. It's so weird to explain, but if you've ever played with this one before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I usually love the scents Compound Kings uses. They're so distinct and strong, but this one did not smell like blueberries to me at all. It smells like cheese and crackers, and I'm really not sure why. Maybe I just received an old slime. If you guys have purchased this one before, let me know if you guys had any issues with the scent. Next up, we have our Walmart slimes. We have a three pack of Mermaid's Paradise from Elmer's Goo. We have three different eight ounce slimes that are all mermaid themed, so cool. So first up, we have Mermaid's Cove. I absolutely love their packaging and how they kept their add-ons separate. This is a clear, thick blue slime that is super clear and stunning. And surprisingly, it's very stretchy too. It came with a packet of fishbowl beads that I just added to the slime. I was worried there would be bead fallout because of how thick the slime is. So I just added half of the packet. I didn't want to add the whole packet in initially. Surprisingly, the beads held in really well. The only time they would fall out is when 
the slime ripped. I wonder if Elmer's changed their clear glue recipe because this just seems so much stretchier than some of the other slimes I've reviewed before. I could actually stretch and inflate this slime to get some good bubble pops and crunches from it. So far, this is my favorite slime from today's video. I also love the scent. It has a sweet, juicy scent that also reminds me of the ocean at the same time. It's a strong scent that smells really good. I definitely recommend snatching this one. Next up in the three pack, we have Mermaid's Tail. This is a gorgeous metallic slime that has a color shifting pigment in it. It shifts from a forest green color to a purplish black color. It's so pretty and it's definitely spot on with the whole mermaid theme. I love how they also included a packet of blue glitter to represent the scales on a mermaid's tail. The glitter is so pretty when it's added to the slime. Compared to the previous one, this slime was nowhere near as stretchy. It starts out pretty stretchy at first, but then it gets pretty stiff and difficult to stretch the more you play with it. I also noticed there was a lot of glitter fallout because the slime just wasn't quite holding in all of the glitter. The scent of the slime is also a fairly strong sweet scent. I can't tell exactly what it scented like but it smells really good. Unfortunately though I'd probably pass on this one. And lastly, from the three pack, we have Mermaid's Gem. This is another clear slime. I love the pretty purple color. The colors of these slimes all reminded me so much of mermaids. It's another thick, juicy slime, similar to the clear blue one. It's pretty stretchy, and I found this slime to actually be more inflating than the blue one, which was awesome. It has another sweet scent. This one smells more like grape, and it's a pretty strong scent. The slime came with a packet of Bingsu beads, and for this one, I decided to add the whole pack it in and the slime surprisingly held the beads in really well as I stretched it out. I feel like Elmer's definitely had to change their recipe because this slime was stretchy, inflating, and it also has great pops. It's really such a good store-bought slime and it's so different from the ones I've reviewed before from them. I definitely recommend this one and Mermaid's Cove. Let me know if you guys tried them out and what you thought about them. And lastly, we have our Walmart slimes. We have a Cento scented butter slime in banana cream pie. This is also an eight ounce container. At first when I took the slime out of the container, it felt pretty sticky and melted, but after I mixed it together and started stretching it, it became a lot less sticky. So I wouldn't exactly call this a butter slime, and I think it's my first time reviewing a butter slime from Cento's. It's more of a stretchy, jiggly slime, but it's jiggly in a good way. It's super stretchy and it's also great for poking and has some nice bubble pops. I actually really like this texture for a store-bought slime. I wasn't a huge fan of the scent though. It smells like chemicals to me more than bananas, but 1000% I love the texture. And here we have a 12 ounce container of slime and dinos. This is such a cool slime because it comes with four dinosaur squishy figures and two squishy balls. They're like little charms for your slime, but you can actually play with them too. This is a clear blue unscented slime that's filled with a pretty glitter. At first this slime started out pretty stretchy, but the longer I played with it, the tougher it got to stretch. It started to rip more as I stretched it, so the slime will definitely need to be stretched slowly. I believe this slime is $5, so it's honestly not bad for slime and extra toys that come with it. I would personally choose one of the Elmer slimes over this one, but it's definitely not the worst either.
And lastly, from Walmart, we have a cotton cloud slime from Compound Kings. This slime is similar to the blueberry one from earlier, but it's a giant slime bucket. So the packaging for this slime is a little bit deceiving because there's a huge plastic piece in the middle. It makes you think you're getting a lot of slime and you still get a lot, but it's just hollow in the middle. The texture is very similar to the blueberry cloud slime, but it actually feels a lot fluffier and stretchier. It still does have a little bit of an elastic-like pull to it so it does limit how far you can actually stretch the slime. But this slime was a lot of fun to play with. If you like fluffy light and airy slimes I definitely suggest trying this slime bucket out. It also has a fairly strong sweet cotton candy scent that smells delicious. I loved it. And that's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Comment down below more stores you guys have seen slimes at and I will definitely browse around my shops and see what I can find for more reviews. And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget to save the date, Thursday, November 25th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be our huge Black Friday restock. We're gonna be releasing half of our Christmas boxes during this restock and then the other half will be released on our big Christmas restock December 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our processing time for the holidays is going to be between two to three days. We're gonna work really hard to get all of your orders out quickly so you'll get them in time for the holidays. And I just wanna give a huge shout out to all of you guys for continuing to support my channel and watching all my videos. It means the world to me. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.